What's up guys? Frosty here. I figured I probably should have done this video a little bit ago uh, when I got the Vita. But um, I'm going to do it now since I forgot to. Um, basically, I'm going to give you a breakdown of the Wipeout 2048 features, modes, and uh, everything you're going to see uh, if you end up picking up this amazing futuristic racing game. So, as it stands right here, we have the uh, title screen here. So, you know what? Let's start. This is your main screen here. We have a single player campaign. We have an online campaign. We have ad hoc, which uh, if you're a PSP uh, player, you're familiar with that is the local multiplayer that the uh, system will use if you're playing with people that are on the same room as you, you know, friends, whatever. And your crossplay, uh, which is available to look at on the back of your uh, game case, it will let you know if a game has crossplay or not. But that allows you to play the game with people that have the game for the PS3 console. So, starting off a single player campaign here, just like that. Now to the top right, you have all your uh, player info, the ship you're currently using right here. Uh, your rank and your avatar. Button to go back to home right over here, in the corner over here. You can zoom this out, I'll zoom it out so it's easier to see. Now your league, right here, kind of set up like a grid, like Wipeout Pulse was. If you check it out, you you race through the AG uh, 2048 league, the 2049 league, and also the 2050 league. And as you race through these, you unlock different paths and different tracks to do, and you branch off of the main path and do all these extra events. And if you go down to the bottom left of the campaign, you also have speed uh, speed laps. Now, for the people that said that you couldn't just race a, a race just to practice on any speed class, that's not true. You have every track here. You have every track here available to you on every speed class, and you can just do lap and lap and lap and lap as many laps as you want to do. Um, now, another cool feature about this is there's actually hidden events located uh, throughout this grid that you unlock. Like if you see this one right here, the back touch panel. You see this whole panel. This whole panel right here. You can drag with your finger. In the back, and if you can see, can you see where my finger is here. You can see where my finger is. You can drag this around the screen. And what that does is when you go over an event, it doesn't let you go over the event. And you could find hidden events like that, and then you tap the back of the screen, and it will open that event for you to play. Um, you can see the main events, they're kind of grayed out if you really look hard. You might, not be able to, you might not be able to see it with this camera, but um, if I drag my finger, see how it stops and comes back? It's like this. That means there's an event there. That means there's events there that I have not unlocked yet. Um, I'd also like to add the, the uh, soundtrack for this game is phenomenal. I said that in one of my other videos, but I mean... Old school craft work is phenomenal. We'll go back to the home screen here. That's the single player. Now I'd like to also point out that single player does not have race box. It is not available for single player. But there's enough events and speed races that you could pick whenever you want that make up for the fact of not having race box. You go basically end up doing any any race on any speed class on any mode just by selecting a specific event. Um, your community tab, your team hit tab here, your ships. You have, now in this game is very different than a lot of the other wipeouts. You have the five teams here. You have Fizar, AG Systems, Kyrex, Oricom, and Piranha. And for each one of those, you have a speed ship, a fighter ship, an agility ship, and a prototype ship. The prototype ships have individual special abilities only available to that ship, exclusively for that ship. And um, kind of like Wipeout 64, each ship had their own type of special um, this game is similar to that and they all have their own different stats So you can use the ship that you want to use that would be appropriate for the event that you end up playing since the events are voted on uh, When you're playing online, you could just switch your ship now for instance the Fizar ship if I select it Let me click on it here This is the Fizar prototype. This is experimenting with a fuel system which charges from speed bags. This Fizar has a variable top speed 
While starting off at a slower speed than the rest of the pack, the engine receives a charge from speed pads, providing a more permanent speed increase, exceeding the stated speed class for any race. Exactly what will happen at maximum velocity is still unknown at this stage. This charge system will reset on new laps and after heavy collisions. Now what that just explained is the Fizar prototype special ability. Um, basically what it does is every time you hit a speed pad during a lap, your max top speed goes up. And it keeps going up continuously past, you could, ex you could exceed the speed of the speed class that you're on by hitting more speed pads. If you collide with something or hit with a weapon, it resets, and it resets at the end of each lap. So to use this ship appropriately, you would have to hit a lot of speed pads, and you would have to not hit a lot of walls or anything. So you need to be really good to get the most out of it. I'm not going to go into details about the other ones. I do have the Oricom prototype unlocked. Um, I don't have any of the other prototypes unlocked. So I can't really go into doing what she does. But that's all the teams for right now. Your community, you have uh, available to your friends and also news about the game. Your profile is just like any other profile in any other game. Um, your options, you could change controls to the classic wipeout schemes, touchpad, whatever you want to do. Extras are just tutorials, credits, whatever. So we'll go back. Go back to home. Check this. You can go to multiplayer here. Now, if you go to online campaign, it goes into your uh, online campaign menu here. Now, I don't know why I'm actually I'm actually on Grid Two right now, but it hasn't shown up because I'm not logged on to the PSN. But if I were to press Start right here, press this to start. The servers might be down right now. I'm not entirely sure. They were down earlier. Well, it's gonna connect me here. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in and actually do a race right now because I just wanted to show this to you. Puts me in a race here. So we're waiting for more players right now. But it puts you in a random race. So I'm doing Empire Climb Combat. The pass is finish the event, and your elite pass is to finish the event and hit any opponent with a weapon. Now you can go over here, you can see who's in the room with you, just like in uh, Wipeout HD. Um, change your ship, see what other people are racing, see their levels, and see the speed class that you're racing on. Um, and this is how the rooms are set up. After you complete a race, it'll go to a voting screen where you have two different tracks and two different modes to vote from after each race. And the majority vote obviously wins what the next track will be. And that's basically multiplayer for you. It's all uh, randomly generated and you go through a campaign grid with different objectives to complete everything. Um, so other than that, um, at this point the... Uh, oh, see, there you go. If you look here, this is uh, multiplayer grid that I'm on. has your friends here. The friends will also automatically join to a game that you're in as long as there's room while you're playing online, which is cool. So we'll go back to single player here. And that's about it for the front end of uh, Wipeout 2048. All the features, all that's available to you. The a the augmented reality that was shown to you um, during some of the trailers seems to be absent at this point. I think that might either be a free download at some point or a uh, DLC. But when you buy a PlayStation Vita, it also it comes with the augmented reality cards that you need to scan. So I'm assuming it's just going to end up being free at some point. And uh, you could play around with the augmented reality with the Wipeout ships. And that's Wipeout uh, 2048's whole front end. Features, ships, modes, everything you get when you buy this game. Very excellent game, especially if you're a fan of Wipeout. You're going to love the vintage feel of it and uh, what they've done to take it back to the roots of the uh, racing league. So... Thanks for watching, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I hope I've convinced somebody to either buy a Vita and Wipeout 2048, or if you have a Vita, that I've convinced you to buy Wipeout 2048. It's a great game, and I think you'll really enjoy it if you're into the racing scene. All right, guys? See you later.